Let's go. <laughs> we got water! to do is eat. Eat. Let's go to the pub and eat. Queenstown, lovely Queenstown. We haven't got long, we're gonna give you a quick little bolt around at a couple of things and then we're gone because we've got to get to A couple so. of little things like this. There's the first little thing. Now let's find the not next one. Little, really. <laughs> it's not actually, is it? Right. The Australian Armed Forces. So there we go, there's the first one. This is the beautiful Queenstown station. And what happens here? Uh, trains coming on. From where? <laughs> I don't know. From Yes, you do. Probably Strawn, probably Launceston, probably, I don't know. <laughs> Strawn. <laughs> Strawn. And when we said, um, it's just a little town with lots of big things around, look over there. Massive. It's like me. And here's a shot of the railway station yards as they were in 1898, just after completion of the line to Strawn. And what do we have here? Miner's Sunday. So this is depicting a miner's Sunday, um, the transition from a prospector's camp to a settled community. Discoverers of the iron blow. Wow, oh, mining. Ingnim bright with late stage hydrothermal veins of Pyrins and Chalcopyrit. Could have told you that. Yes, you could have. I can also tell you that's an Atlas Copco. A what? Atlas Copco. Are you telling me the brand of that thing? Yeah. <laughs> Atlas Copco. Oh, there you go. I don't really see that brand around these days. Thomas Bathermore who was one of the hardy prospectors and track cutters who opened up the west coast through economic exploitation. His wife Mary crossing the King River. Oh, wow. <laughs> How cool is that? As you mentioned, this is a really quick run through of what we're able to show you in such a short amount of time. There's a galley museum up there that we really would like to go into, but we don't have time. So we will try to get um, back here. We are going to try, try and here. come back. I think we're going to pass back through here when we go to Great Lake and up to Monty and wherever We do it is, say so. that a lot though and we quite often don't get back to where we say we're going to come back No, <laughs> I think we will come back through this way because but, we've got to go back. But there's a lot to see here, so... Yeah. Um, we'll it's actually a going. really big town, isn't it? Yeah. I didn't think it was going to be this big. 
coming at you from somewhere different. Surprise, surprise. Stress to Strawn on the west coast. Yeah, we're in Strawn. As you can see, it's a beautiful sunny day. Cruise um, boats are leaving from over there, but we are not cruising this time. We no. cruised last time and 100% recommend that you do it. If you come to Strawn, make sure you do the cruise. It's expensive, but worth every cent, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Sarah Island is amazing. And when we were here last time, we actually toured Sarah Island. Um, with mum and dad which was really fun and when they take you on a tour they do a little um, description of what it was like life on the island and at the end of the tour they say for the continuation go and see the play the ship that never was which is held just over there and we haven't seen that yet and no. we've actually booked in to see it tonight so really excited about that to get the <laughs> the continuation of the tour that we took two <laughs> years ago <laughs> finally is happening tonight. So that's pretty exciting. Two things you have to do when you come to Strawn, go on the cruise, Sarah Island, and then um, see the play that never was. And the railway. Yeah, the Strawn I, railway. Holy I did crap. that as well last time. You haven't done that. I don't think we're doing it this time, but the rail, <laughs> it's nice. It's very scenic. They stop and you get off and you can sample things. And like, it was a long time ago when I did the train, actually it was about 15 years ago, but I'm sure it hasn't changed too much. It takes you to Queenstown and then you wander around there and then you can catch the bus back if you like. Yeah. But yeah, there's lots to see and there's lots to do here, but the main reason we're in Strawn is... The game plan is just to leave the car, the caravan here, and then jump in the Chev and go. Well, we've restocked on things for in the actual car itself, and tomorrow morning we're gonna jump on Ocean Beach and head north, I think. Don't know how far we can get. I am getting a, a bit of news that the Henty River is definitely impassable, so we may have to go back inland up to Zeehan and around there and then up from there, but we're just going to Get jump, as far jump, as we can. Yeah, <laughs> jump in the jump in the truck and just yeah, hit the rugged rugged sections of the west coast, um, somewhere that we definitely cannot take the van itself, so. I think we're packing it up for two nights. Yeah, two or three nights. We, 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 there's no plans, no plans, so we're stocked. We're good to go. Good heaps of power, heaps of water, heaps yeah. of bedding. Yeah, so what we're gonna do while we're here for the rest of the day is maybe give you guys a little bit of a, I don't know, peek at Just a quick little run around. Little run around strong. Yeah. So, let's go. Uh, oh, there's the boat. <laughs> there's a couple of boats behind it. That's the one that we went on with mum and dad last time. It's actually whisper quiet, so it powers out. And then when you get into the Gordon River itself, it shuts off all the noisy engines and runs on electric and it's whisper quiet. Noisy engines. Oh, <laughs> the diesel up. engine shut off, yeah. Whatever. And it goes to the electric motors. It goes whisper quiet. Um, and then it's just you in the middle of the wilderness on the water. On the Gordon River, yeah. It's incredible. It needs to be silent. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I've actually, last time I did it, it was on the red boat, which is noisier. So there's the spirit, spirit of the wild, is it? Yeah, that's the electric. Yeah, one. that's the electric one. This is the electric one here, the big daddy. And then where's the other one? They're both really good, but I think if I had to choose, I'd use go on that one. That's the horn that I want, honey. Good food, good beers. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go in there for beers now. Here you have the camera. had a bit of a wander around. I've actually lost Chris. Um, he threw the camera at me and said he was gonna go get a beer. So I think the first place I'm gonna look is the pub. Let's see. From. We're having a chat over here. You're leading him astray.
whales here. There's a couple back there as well. Look, there's another one. There's another two whales. Time to let the air out of the fires. So do you want to explain a little bit about where we're going and uh, what's going on? We are heading up Ocean Beach. I don't know. We're going to try heading right up. I don't know. Apparently the Henty River we can't cross. So I'm not sure. That's what we've been told from a few locals. Uh, but it's very quick sandish. So I don't know. We may have to pull back in and head up to Zian and then around that and then continue going up north. I really don't know yet. We're just going to suck it and see, I think, just go on an adventure. And um, yeah, see, see, see where it takes us. So, deflate the tyres, always deflate the tyres on the beach. And do you know what PSI you should deflate them to? 18. No, I don't believe in this magic 18 or 22 or just look at the car, look at the conditions, look at your tyres and yeah, adjust your air pressures accordingly, that's what I say. So. So we think we're at the Henty. If we look at our Hema, it's actually a fair way off. Well, not actually not fair far off at all. But it looks like it runs in and along the dunes and down south for ages and comes out here. So we're just going to go back up and around a bit and back up to it and see if we can actually cross it really close to the to the ocean so unless we go in the ocean a little bit and around but we'll go check it out here's a henty here which well we think it's a henty if we go into the hema here it looks like it's pushed up and come inland and along the dunes all the way down and then come and eventually turned out here so it must be it like there's yeah. no other rivers around here. no there isn't not that i can see on here it, so, yeah, yeah that, that's definitely it. And no. they say the mouth, like any inlet to the ocean, moves and changes all oh, the time. Oh, it can move massively with the currents of that, with the ocean, with the tides. So yeah, it's definitely run. You can see it runs all the way north there for ages. We could try continuing up here, but I really don't think we're going to well, get it. River, we're going to cross it. It looks pretty. Come out, so. It looks pretty, um, pretty deep all the way up. So. So I'm assuming this is the mouth of the Henty, or it actually used to be. You can see all the logs here, and you can see where it sort of ran through. And it's really dark in the ocean here, so it looks like all, uh, I guess, the inland, all the tea tree and stuff, then that's come through. But we're going to go for a walk up anyway and see how actually soft it is, because we are driving up a little bit, and it was getting really sketchy. So I thought I'd park back down there, and we'll go for a walk up and check it out. So I've come to the verdict of no way. I won't be crossing this at all. It is that soft, and when you just stand there, you actually sink into it. And this is in the really hard, wet stuff, close to the ocean where you normally want to go around a, um, a run out anyway. We're gonna have to go right around to Zingin now, and um, yeah, go that way. No, won't be doing it. What a bugger. I'm just gonna check in here as well. You can see it's sort of running through now. Even up this edge here, it'll still be uh, really soft, I think. So, and whenever you're going to do creek crossings like this, uh, if you're going to drive it with a really running tide, running out tide, just make sure you pull in and run against uh, with the current itself as well, because you don't want to be fighting the current as well as through soft sand. So. Yeah, too soft. Oh well, let's go the long way around. We'll go to Zian now, we'll go back, jump up, come around to Zian and then come back in then. So you bummed that we can't do this? Oh, I thought you said you were totally keen. No, no. <laughs> the truck's way too expensive and I, yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to tow the van walking, so. <laughs> so that's the verdict, that's the verdict, so. Yep, nine, not happening. Oh, it is what it is, Feels so. nice to be on the beach. It does, it does, and the weather's mint, and tomorrow, I think it's gonna be 30 odd degrees here. 30 degrees, so, and the next day, 17. <laughs> yeah, bring it on, and the water is, Beautiful. I was just walking and it's not really that cold. No, it's not cold at all. So yeah. hopefully I can get a wave in somewhere as well. So. The adventure continues. Okay, so I 
was second guessing if that actually was the henty, but it pretty much is. You can see the mouth is here, and then we are there, but you can see, as we explained over there, the river's pushing down and running south along the dunes and then back out around here somewhere. So that's definitely it. So we're gonna have to go back down, back down Ocean Beach in the access and on Henty Road all the way up to Zian. Yep, and then run all the way back into Trial Harbour, I think it is, yeah. And see how we go there, see if we can go north from there. Let's do it. You never know what you're gonna find on the beach. Check that out. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Are at the mouth of Macquarie Harbour. Isn't that? Macquarie Harbour goes in and then into Gordon River and into Straw and stuff. So this is Hell's Gate. It's actually pretty cool when you go out on the big boats and they take you out the mouth and out to the ocean for a little bit, then they'll turn around and come back. Oh, there's one actually out there right now. Oh, there's one coming in now, yeah, yeah. So it takes us in between, so there's an island in the centre there. So it doesn't go on this side because it gets really shallow and sketchy banks. It goes in between those two, where the little lighthouse is, and then the rock over there, the little houses. So, yeah, th that's Hell's Gate. I don't know why they call it Hell's Gate. That's <laughs> pretty hellish. Yeah. <laughs> The dreaded henty. <laughs> dreaded henty, look at it. <laughs> We've had to. So scary. Yeah, we pulled back into straw and we aired back up, and then we're doing a run up to Zian now. So, this is the bridge, and this is the freeway right here. Well, I don't know if it's a freeway, but it's the road that's going to take us back up to Zian where we can shoot back down to Henty Dunes and cold. see where we go. No, it's gorgeous. So, we're cruising along through the Henty Dunes admiring the scenery and then Chris says the Henty Dunes aren't really dunes are they and he has a good point why are they not dunes oh, <laughs> it says dunes up there doesn't it it looks like all dunes but that's all sand dunes well forest. it could be sand but it's covered well and truly covered by green stuff yeah, so. that's not what we were expecting but it is beautiful I don't know if you can actually see but we looked closely and it does look like sand <laughs> Under there. All right, let's see what's going on in beautiful sand. Or oh, more mountain biking. <laughs> oh, stop getting me jealous. Look at that. Oh, I want to see it. Zian mountain Not biking, even my looking. friend. La 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 la. <laughs> Zian, and it is an odd little town, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's like there's absolutely no one. It's it's weird. It's, even the pub over here, the Central Hotel, is closed down. So it is a town where the pub is closed down. That's like that's some serious bloody rubble. I mean, where's everyone going to go? The pub down the road. Check this I joint out. I'm going to take been... that. Would have been a service there station or something. See, look over here. Now you just park there to get your coffee. Yeah, now you just park there to go to your local coffee shop, which is there. Look at all this, all the empty store shops everywhere. It's crazy. But I think a lot of the West is like this. It's it's odd. It's it's like I was saying before, it's frozen in time. It's just madness. Like, look at this. 
How does a pub shut down? That's just crazy. It's very odd. Oh, there's the post office. Check that old building out. See, look at this. Look how old that is. And then what do we got here? Ooh, games and minerals, Tasmanian mi minerals. Have a go at it. <laughs> Great War, 1914 to 1918. Yeah. Sitting in front of the West Coast Heritage Centre, there's old trains in here and down the back there's a whole heap of other really old interesting stuff we're not going to go through um, today. Interesting stuff? <laughs> yeah, well, you do, if you poke the camera over the fence you can see. Okay, I'll do that. J. Howard Memorial Park. Toilets, looks like barbecues over there. Playground, and even a skate park. The Silver City, commonly known as the Silver City Zion, has been a town of great prosperity, education, and entertainment. The town has experienced the highs and lows of mining, which still remains a major industry. Yeah. in now. So cool having chats with them all.
This is where they're collecting How's the water. How's this joint? Are you right, Princess? No, it's my beer. Yeah. I wouldn't be rock climbing uh, with a beer in hand, would I? What are the trooper guys called? Two, two, two troops in a lap. Two troops in... Yeah, two troops in a lap. Maybe. They're fishing down here. They're bringing... Can I have my beer back, please, by the way? Watch out here, you're gonna get hooked. Is there? Oh. What are they? Rats. Oh, yeah, okay. Can you get us like a massive, massive Maori rat? Well, she's on! <laughs> get her in, get her in! <laughs> here we go! <laughs> what happened? Oh, it's heavy! Oh, stop it, stop it, stop it. <laughs> this is real on the way. <laughs> oh, check him out! How good's that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got like six. <laughs> I've yeah. got six. Can you everywhere. keep some for the other campers or what? Yeah. There we go, honey. <laughs> Yay! Dinner for you. Alex? So it's eight o'clock. The sun is going down. Le Chef, 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 oui, oui. Chef Christopher is oui. too busy drinking. No, no. And not cooking. <laughs> I'm going to cook on the ship right now. Uh-huh. Yes. Right now. Right now. Because I'm starving. I've not eaten today. Have you seen these legends over here? Come have a look over oh, here for a minute. Who are we? Who are we? Come who over are here. We? Come over here. This is, what are their names? Hang on a minute. Do you see this? This is what happens every time I ask for food. Wee oui, wee? Oui. I don't get any. Wee oui, wee? Oui. What are their names again? What? What? What's your name again? <laughs> Two troops in a loop. Two troops in a loop. I'm going to show you something. Come on this way. Come on this way. Oh, I'm okay. going to show you how much of a legend they are. No, what's the hole? Oh, <laughs> oh, there's a hole there. These guys know their stuff. And a drive and Addy cab. I know. Look at the Seriously? audience. Seriously? Looks a lot like ours, doesn't it? We're just, we're just admiring your energy drive and your alley cab gear. Oh, I know. And check this all out in Oh, you guys are all over it, aren't you? Yeah, <laughs> cool. All Do you want to give us a bit of a, a rundown of your beloved troopy? <laughs> the beloved troopy, okay. So we've got the pull-out table, the only <laughs> table on board. <laughs> Woo! Little kitchen spot, big old fridge, little bit of black label. <laughs> oh, I see what, we've got an e-power up there as well. A little e-power, yep. Ooh. That was the blender, Here the strainer. Oh, she's got a black label. Yeah, <laughs> That's all that matters, the isn't it? Stuff, the good stuff. Yeah, we've got the lounge, the pull-out lounge suite. It's all happening. Happy day. There we go. And on top, what have you got? Oh, Ali and Cav rooftop oh, tent. Yeah. Two troops in a loop. Two troops in a loop. Woohoo! Now, Let's get some dinner. I would like my food, please. Cook some dinner, woman, would you? I don't cook in Le Chev. I know I'm not allowed to touch Le Kitchen in Le Chev. No, we, oui, we, oui, we. Oui. I'm going, going to one? cook. I'm going to cook. Uh, what are you going to cook? Uh, Do you even know? Italian. Uh, I don't know what I'm cooking. <laughs> it's nachos. Oh, nachos. It's yeah. not really hard yeah. to cook si, tonight. Si, the the mince is defrosted. I cook it in nachos. Si. Si. <laughs> Hurry up. Stop si. talking. Stop cooking. <laughs> So one, two, three, four Yakima Premium Ales and number five over here. How are you feeling? Chef, number six Chef is Mojon. is premium mince meat, pure black, grass fed Angus. There you go. You can thank Mum for that. Yep. As 
I'll say it again, fresh produce from Tasmania. This is what we're gonna do here. We're gonna cook mince, and then we're gonna put... What are you gonna put in the mince? Have you got out the uh, taco seasoning? Yes, yep, got taco seasoning. Yep, where's that? Mm. <laughs> in the glove box, I think. Is it in the glove box? No, it's no. not in the glove box. Well, I don't know then. <laughs> Where is it? Because i got no idea. Cut! Let me have a little look, see as to what's going on in here. It's not in there. No, that would be empty. It's not in there. Oh, yes, it is. There you go. Let me have a look, see. You want two? Voila. That's one. And the voila. Voila. Now, this is actually sour cream seasoning, but it works really well. In chocolate really meat, dry and like, it is. Like you gotta rock. break it all up. She's a bit bloody dry. How's it looking? Have you added the water yet? Mm, she's a bit dry, honey. I'm just gonna. <laughs> we got water. Oh, oh, what? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh my gosh! Oh, it's on. Stop. <laughs> no, so we got it. Honey. It's all right. I got it under control. <laughs> Stop eating the food and put it on the plate <laughs> immediately. I'm not eating it. No, of course not. By the way, oh, is there any... I don't put too much on. Has anyone ever seen our party street, by the way? I think they have seen our party street. No one's, no one, no one else is invited. No one else is invited to our no. party street? Party's full. Look, the street's full. Look. You want me an another spin around of our look, party going up there? Still, <laughs> still going on over there. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, now back to the important things. I, babe, that's ridiculous. You just put like a lot of oh, food on that I'm plate. Right. Well, it's good value for money. It's, it's, there you exactly go. Right, it's a value good size money. serving. Okay, now. No, 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 it's got to go in the microwave with cheese. Stop. <laughs> oh, you do it then. <laughs> I can't wait. Look at you. Cooking there. <laughs> Would you like to come and have a look in there? Did you melt my plate? Wee oui, wee. Oui. I hope that was a, not a wee wee. Oh. Is that enough or your more? Let me have a look at that. That's perfect. Thank you. Is it? Okay. Yes. Voila. That looks good. And is your, your, your mountain. Your dinner. Oh, holy shit. You dished, you dished food, that man. up, man. Did you? Yes, you did. Oh, it's got to pee. It's got to pee real bad. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I feel so much better, honey. <laughs> Ooh, that was good. Egypt. The sun is going down. Fire is crackling away. You've nearly eaten all those nachos. Mm. <laughs> See what's going on here? This just doesn't happen on the west coast. Yeah, this is the west coast of Tasmania, not the east coast. Yeah. It doesn't happen. This is just amazing. Oh. It's magic. We're just living it up, absolutely living it up, aren't we? Wow. Oh, this is where it's at. Yeah.
4x4 Central. Look at the 79s, they're just everywhere. <laughs> Made a lot. <laughs> Say good day. <laughs> Check out the wind farm. Coming into where are we? Granville Harbour. Yeah. <laughs> the GoPro on. We're coming into Granville Harbour, Ocean's Wiki Camp. And we've got two love hearts. One's on Lake Hyman or Heeman. Hyman, I think it is. And the other wind is over here near the water. Now it's really windy today and that's supposed to be a pretty windy site. So odds are we're going to end up heading over to the one on the lake. But who knows? Just ride, ride, all the way to the rainbow's to climb and heads drive can be a challenge. <laughs> but look at this, look at this. I know. So dropping the tires because apparently it's part beach, part not beach. Um, love it when the day turns out to be awesome and it's unplanned. Everyone is airing down. We've come up with a new slogan for the Chevy. Chevy Silverado makes 79 foot small. <laughs> it's his favourite type of road. Rocks. You love it, don't oh. you? So
ended up only spending one night away in just the rooftop tent. We've checked the weather and it's supposed to start raining quite heavily at 10 o'clock tonight and continue for the next five days. So we've come back here to Strawn. Um, we're gonna regather and I don't know, go on our next adventure from tomorrow. Time to hook up and move on. His favorite job, he loves it. So our time on the West Coast has come to an end. It's been great. The West is done. Yeah. For now. For now. For now. We've done quite a bit. We managed to squeeze quite a bit in, but we're going to head back to Launceston now for a couple of reasons. One, the predicted shocking weather hit. The winds picked up yesterday. It was 35 degrees, so windy and hot. And then last night the storms hit and it's now 13 degrees and freezing cold. <laughs> so last night the van was rocking with the wind and there was thunder and rain so Launceston's we weather looks we a little better. Next stop is West Coast. West Coast. I mean East Coast sorry. East Coast. We got yeah. an Australia Day catch up with the hip travellers and then we're gonna tour the East Coast. Great.